Well, today I repaired an old chimney. They had old lime in there for mortar, and it all fell apart. So I uh, fixed it up a little bit, uh, put a cap on it, a piece of flue. I'm going to show you how I did it. Today we're fixing this chimney, and I'm going to give you a lesson on cements. Around here, cement is called cement. It don't matter if it's mortar or Portland or whatever. But what they did is they used mortar on this, which is lime. And then it was good for 15, 25 years. It rains, it snows in Pennsylvania. The water gets into the mortar and it falls apart. Just like this. See that? Mortar in Pennsylvania is no good for brick. Now if you go down to Virginia and you go over to Europe and England, it's terrific. Around here it don't work. You have to add Portland to it. They talk people blue in the face, but they don't want to hear me. What happens is, in our area, the rains or snows, and it just falls apart. You got to put Portland in it. So what happened is some other guy came here, and they redid the top, and they used Portland. It's as hard as a rock, you can't get it off. The, the first thing they wanted to do was uh, rip the whole thing down and redo it. And the owner came out and started banging on it and said, I'm not doing that, just patch it up. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm patching it up because they're going to put a roof on it. But I talk people blue in the face about mortar and lime in northeastern Pennsylvania. This is a picture of our weather. The water gets in it. It doesn't work. So I always add Portland when I'm fixing chimneys. Now this is the top of the chimney. See this? Masonry chimneys in Pennsylvania is another big issue, big problem. The guy came fixed this 20 years ago, but he didn't add that little piece of addition. So the owner's gonna get down, we're gonna cut it and put a piece back on. These are the brick he tried to get off. We're gonna patch that up and I'll explain a little more at the end. But if this is my chimney, I come out here with maybe treated wood and I go right around and I cover the whole thing with metal with a splash plate to keep the water away from the chimney. You're getting a whole new roof like I said. So we're only going to take out the loose stuff, and we got to fix the flashing. If it's loose, we're going to fix it, and that's as far as we go. We're going. If the water didn't get in there, there's no problem. Once the water gets in there on lime and it freezes, it's over with. So that's all we're doing today. Now, if they want to, uh, we're going to take it as it comes. But they might just cut a thing here and put all new flashing in, but I'm going to leave it for the roofer. Now we're going to go mix the cement. Now here's what I'm using. I'm going to use four of the, what we call mason sand. That's two. Sand is wet. Three. Four. Then I'm going to use a full one of Portland. Portland cement and put that in. That's good. Then I'm going to go over here to the mortar, which is S type, which means they have uh, Portland in it. That's a big joke. I don't know whoever came up with that idea. I'm going to do that and just for good measure, a little bit more Portland, just a little bit. And then we're going to mix it up. That's good. That's our recipe. That's what we're going to use up in there to fix that all up. So that's about it. It's a little wet, but by the time we get up there, it's going to stiffen up a little bit. Well, we cleaned it all out, so just maybe a little bit of wetting to make it stick. But you don't have to in a case like this. Now we're going to do is put it back. I'm not going to make a big deal out of this. It's all... Uh, iffy anyway. See that? That's it. Just get it in there. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna kill this job. This is all, uh, it's getting a brand new roof. That's why we got to get in there to fix this is because of that. All that stuff fell off, that old lime, it's no good. 
You know what? We gotta get in here farther first. That's gonna be uh, shoved in there like this. That's gotta go in first. Then this is gonna fit. And that's gonna get there. Mike, why do they have holes in the brick? Because it was easier shipping. That's the only reason. That's that. Now, we're not going crazy here. That's stuck in there. I'm gonna go throw that one in. Just like that. Now we want to plaster the top a little bit. That might help. You see, they put them holes in the brick. And they contain water too when the brick leaks. Then everything falls apart. So brickwork is a dying thing. I've done that before. I talked about it before. They don't use brick no more. Everything's uh, pre-made. See the way? Sometimes you gotta block the holes up. Hope for the best. That's it. So we got them in there. That's it. Look at it. See that old lime mortar? Pennsylvania. Don't work here. I could talk people blue in the face. Tell me what the experts say. Well, the experts aren't the guys going around in Pennsylvania fixing the chimneys. I mean, God bless them. And when I got out of the service, I wasn't in Vietnam, but I was in the Vietnam era and I was overseas so I got myself an education and I studied law and I don't know what the definition of an expert is if I could remember you go to Black's legal dictionary it's a person who through education and or experience has a developed a particular skill in a certain whatever in that he may be assistant to the fact finder so when you study law you also look at what it doesn't say it doesn't say the inspector knows what he's talking about it doesn't know if the code official knows what he's talking about that's the guy with the experience how many times I told you if you want to know what to do I always ask the local guys the guys has been doing it for 25 30 years they know it works so we're that's how we're gonna do get that in there and we're not gonna make a big deal out of it just gonna patch it up see where the lime mortar starts in the Portland ends I told you I'm gonna make these joints a little bit bigger on this side because I don't want it leaking. Let's see what the owner says. They did that up here too. They knew. They didn't do a great job, but he knew. He knew that part. I'm gonna let that set. And come back after it sets a little bit and clean it up. Okay. I think you got the idea. We're going to rejoint this. See that? Get in there best you could. We're not going to wet it or nothing because that's going to make a mess. All we're going to get do is get this cement, push it in there. That's all we're going to do. As long as that brick didn't fall out, that's okay. You ask me, Mike, why didn't you finish law school? Well, I wanted to go. I think it's one of those God things, you know. You want to do something in life and everything's in the way. You gotta get it in here. See that? I hope the camera's getting it because well, the owner went down for a flu. See? Use your hands. I don't have my rubber gloves here down in the truck. Nothing wrong with using your hands. Get it in there. Of course, you got to wear a rubber glove. 
see, when it's packed in there, I know it's packed in there. One way or the other, I know that. That's how we're doing. Over here, it's a little deeper. Like I told you, holes in the bricks. Brickwork is a dying thing. I don't take a brick job no more. We're doing it big in England and China and places like that, but all our buildings are going to glass and steel and fake stone. We're not doing brickwork no more in the United States. Yeah, it's about 15, 20 minutes later. That's all I'm gonna do, I'm using my hand. Just like that with a rubber glove. I know it's pressed in there. I'm not gonna put a big concave in it or uh, the way they had the old brick. I'm just gonna do this to it. Make sure it's in there. Make the corners a little bit tighter. And then lightly brush it off. See that, no big deal. Just like that. Brush it off. We're up on a roof. It ain't gonna matter much. And then if we're really worried about the edges, we'll just go around it with a little sponge. Just like that. To clean it up. Thing is, you gotta keep the sponge clean. You gotta watch when you're doing this so you don't leave a film. See that? Looks like we weren't even here. And this kind of some might disagree with me, but doing this with the water puts like a little seal on it. So, how's that? We're all done. Now, if they want to put a different flashing on, they could cut right into this. It don't matter. And same thing on this side. Let's get the film off of it. It looks good. Well, we're doing the chimney. Let's look at the bottom. Yeah, not too bad, pretty good. Looks good. Now as we start to go up, uh-oh, what's going on? Now it's not looking too good. Everything's falling apart. Why is that? Look at it, as it goes up, it gets worse and worse and worse. Why is that? Because this is Pennsylvania, and they use this old lime mortar, and it don't last here. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna put this flue up here, because all the water was going down to the flue. First, I'm gonna clean this all off, just like that. That cement's all fixed. I make sure it's wet. Everything's wet. And get my Mint all.
heat, but not real hot. Yeah. Uh, heat, the humidity, I, I hate. I don't like humidity. a little bit and then I'm going to talk to you about chimneys. So cleaning the top off. Now here's my recommendation. You listen to me. Tell me if I'm right. If you go around here with a board, a 2x4, one of those uh, treated, and you make this out of metal and it goes down over the chimney, you're not going to get that many leaks. So make the top out of metal, that's what I'm saying. Now we put the old cap back on it, but he's going to get a new one, so we're not going to worry about that. Well, that's it. I uh, finished pointing up the chimney. The harder you make the mud when you're pointing up, like you got deep joints, the less you mess it up. So before you do something like that, just practice. Thanks for watching. I'm Mike Haddock. Until next video.